Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Walanda. So in today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to give you guys my reasons why I am not on TikTok. So if you are interested in knowing my reasons, then go ahead and stay tuned. All right, first and foremost, I am not going to go into the history or the background of TikTok because honestly, I don't know. And honestly, I didn't care to research. And honestly, you guys probably already know how TikTok was formed and how it emerged into the society or culture. Good for y'all. If y'all know, if y'all don't know, then go ahead and do your research. So I'm probably one of the few content creators that still does not have a TikTok and honestly I don't plan on downloading it or having an account because of these reasons so my first reason is I don't want to have one period now disclaimer I did create a TikTok account once and that was was it during a pandemic I want to say I think so yeah I think it was like I don't know. I remember when I did one just so I can promote a special edition sweater of my chocolate merch that had just launched or that was going to launch. And um, I think that was probably winter or spring of 2020, probably. No, I think it was like summer 2020, something like that. I don't know. I honestly only did it because I wanted to try it out. And as a business owner, you know, you dip adapt to see what is trending, what is viral. So I wanted to try it out to see if it's something I can implement in my business. Oh, by the way, when I did have the TikTok account, I honestly did not even follow anybody. I did not go on a feed. I don't even remember how the actual layout of the TikTok app is. So it's not as though I was scrolling and then I decided to delete it when I realized it wasn't for me. I literally only downloaded it to make that content, that one video I made. So even though I don't have a TikTok account, TikTok content is everywhere. There are videos on YouTube that is solely on showing and talking about poking fun showing tiktok videos a lot of reels on instagram that has that tiktok hashtag on it a print and you know it's just content that is made on tiktok and just you know spread throughout all the other social platforms so even though i don't have tiktok I still see TikTok content on the social platforms I do have. So that's another reason why I don't, I'm not on TikTok is because I already see the content. It's being re, how you call it, how you say that, recycled. <laughs> it's being recycled on other platforms all the time. I don't need to be on the actual app in order for me to see any specific content. Another reason why I don't like TikTok is because it was not easy way to edit my videos. When I did create the videos, it was very confusing. I'm very old school. I'm used to being on Final Cut Pro, being on a computer to edit my videos. I never used to edit my videos on my phone or anything. So being on that app, trying to edit a simple, like literally 10, 15 second video was just so frustrating. And I'm like, why is this so hard? Why is this so difficult? Like, I don't understand. So that really gave me a bad taste for the app being that it wasn't really content creator friendly when it came to editing. I still would have to export everything up until my laptop to edit the item. I was like, that's, that's too much. So one of the main reasons I was like, eh, TikTok is not for me is because the way TikTok is, like, I know all social media platform is to consume your time, is to keep you on the app. But the way that app is set up, it is too time consuming. And I don't like that. Yo, now I'm 29. I'm a grown woman. I got things to do. The way I am, if you guys don't notice how I've been for the past like couple years, I'm not even on my socials like that. This year is when I've really put effort back into YouTube. And on Instagram, I'm not even on stories like that. I've just definitely loved being away from socials. I don't care about consuming anybody's content. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just not. That's just not 
where I am anymore in life. Maybe the you know will line it back then, but. I have businesses to run. I have things to do. I have achievements. I have goals. And just sitting on social media apps all day, every day, it's it's too time consuming for me. I don't like it. That's not how I want to spend my time. So the way the TikTok platform is set up is you can never get away from it. Like you are scrolling, 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 not even scrolling. It's the way like, and I say this only because this is how Instagram is and Instagram is trying to, well, Instagram reel is trying to mimic TikTok. And once you finish a reel, it automatically goes to another one, automatically goes to another one where to the point you just sit in there and consuming so much content at once. And it's just time consuming. Like when I am at home, when I have things to do, if I'm washing dishes, if I'm working on my computer, if I am doing something in the house, I'm the type of person I like to listen to my content. So I literally listen to a lot of YouTube videos that are teaching me something while I could work, while I could cook, while I could do something instead of sitting and getting my full attention where I have to sit down and just watch. But the way TikTok is designed is you have to sit there and watch. You have to see all the details that is going on in the video. And it's just, I can't. I can't and I won't. I can't. I cannot be sitting on my phone and just... Like, what is this? What is this? This is stupid to me. Like, this don't make any sense. I'm not doing this all day, every day. So that's why I'm not even even bothering to even get back on TikTok. Even Instagram Reels, I've realized there's a certain point in time on Instagram, if I get on, it's just straight Reels. Once I post what I need to post and I realize, you know, I try to be very... Um, very interactive when it comes to the people that are on my feed because I do follow other content creators as well. And I know like if you see my stuff, I would like you to engage because that's how we get these top brands. So I do the same thing. If I am on there and I happen to be on my feed and I see a content creator that I'm following, I definitely do my best and try to engage. But when it's one, when it's those reels that is just coming back to back, baby girl, I cannot. I'm sorry. So once I upload what I need to upload, I'm on my feed. I see it's uh uh uh. I do like two, three, and I'm off because at the end of the day, if you're not aware that these brands or these platforms are here to consume your time, then you will definitely fall into that. Um, not laziness, but fall into that hole of not doing anything. And my goal in life is to go on to the next level. Whatever the next level is, it's for me to go on. It's not for me to just sit here and consume other BS, which is another one of my points on a daily. Like I cannot do that. And I refuse to do that. That's like my system. I, my system is not for that. I'm not built to be sitting here and just consuming BS for no reason. So that goes into my point where it's just a lot of misinformation. I'm like, why are people consuming things that people never research or don't know anything about or just regurgitating all the time? And I feel like you could almost say that to all platforms, but being that the way the TikTok platform is, you are consuming a whole bunch of BS at once. You know, in YouTube videos, you'll sit there and consume a whole 11 minutes of BS for one video, right? Or an entire five minutes of BS for one video. No, five minutes on TikTok. You could go through so many videos. I'm like, what? What? Where did you guys get that from? And it's just, and these hacks and the way people just be... On TikTok, you could be there for a good 20 hours without even realizing just consuming a whole bunch of misinformation and a whole bunch of lies. Like, it's sick, y'all. It's sick. Another reason I'm not on TikTok is because, honestly, I need more elaboration. <laughs> Content is going by way too fast for me. I'm the type of person, like, I'm very literal. I'm very direct to the point. 
And when it comes to TikTok, if you're just giving me half of the information in 10 seconds, 30 seconds, like you cannot elaborate basically anything in a 10, 15, 30, what is it, 60 second video. Like it's it's not going to happen, especially the things I like to learn. They do, they require more depth than just the shallow top. So it's just too fast for me. And when it comes to non-educational type videos, so mainly like entertainment type videos, a lot of the times you have to go through the video, like replay it a couple of times in order to actually understand what is going on because it just go too fast. A lot of the times when they put the words up on the screen, it just be too fast. It be blah, 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 blah. It's like, wait, what? What did I learn? What What did I watch? It'd be making my head hurt and I just need to comprehend on what's going on in the actual content. And if you're going too fast, if you're doing too much, if it's everywhere, I'm good. And then a lot of these platforms, they all starting to do the same thing anyway. So they're all starting to mimic off of each other, Instagram, off of TikTok, even Pinterest. Now they have like Pinterest ideal pins, which are basically reels. Um, that is mimicked off the TikTok. YouTube has shorts that is mimicked off of TikTok. So like all of these platforms that have been here before TikTok are getting pieces of that um, type of uh, feature on their platform. So I'm like, what's the point of having the actual TikTok if I'm going to get it, make it, put on everything else and everything else already has their own type of reel or I ideal pen or shorts, whatever they want to call it. Like it's the same thing. So I might as well not have the TikTok. The less social media I have on my phone, the better. From a business perspective, definitely would get every platform on there to spread the word for my business. But from a personal perspective, no, it's not. No, I'm not chasing every single platform out there. If there are different platforms that are doing different things for different reasons, okay, I will test it out and see if I like it, see if I want to stay on it, and then get off if I don't. Like That's just how it is. So that's what I did with TikTok. I tested it out, realized it wasn't for me, got off. Even when Vine came out, when a music league came out, like I wasn't about that. I just knew that wasn't for me. Oh yes, my last one is, to be honest, it's cringy to me. T TikTok is cringy. That lady voice, robotic voice that, this is how you spend date night with your husband. This is how you, whatever, whatever it is. Like, it, that's just annoying. It's it's annoying. Like, it's annoying, y'all. Everybody's doing the same song. Everybody's doing the same dance. Everybody's, it's like, I'm done. Those are my reasons why I am not on TikTok, y'all. I don't really care to be on there, to be honest. I'm going to see the same thing on all the other platforms that I'm on whenever I'm on them. Other than that, I'm good.